Who are we? Hero puts crumpled cash in the tray, but when he wins the fight, the money is all rolled up. The helmet is big, and now it fits him well. And Cass is not the same character as the mom in The Incredibles. Hero and Tadashi walk out of the police station empty-handed without their helmets. Exposition? They're gone. They died when I was three, remember? The helmets are back. I'll take you. Really? I can't stop you from going, but I'm not gonna let you go on your own. Apple okay. slices are floating slowly to the ground, but then they are nowhere to be found. Laser-induced plasma? Honey Lemon easily rolls a 400-pound ball. Lollipop appears out of nowhere. Have a lollipop. Nice. I cannot. Calhan's shirt is blue, but when he holds out his arm to take Megabot, uh, his shirt sleeve yeah. is red. In a later scene, Callahan is wearing a red shirt at the SFTT. Now, Lollipop is gone. I haven't done laundry in six months. Looks like no one in the movie did any laundry. They all wear the same clothes throughout the movie. They already had a prime spot, so why did they move? Just throw the neurotransmitter device that controls your greatest invention at the stage. I appreciate the offer, Mr. Cray. But they're not for sale. Wrong choice. Hero just threw away money and limited research resources and a challenging job. Later in the movie, he upgraded all his friends' inventions, so college would probably be boring for him. The one person he approaches happens to know Professor Callahan is still in the building. There are hundreds of people exiting the building, so how can she know that Callahan was still inside? The whole courtyard is empty. I think it is safe to assume everyone has left the building. Tadashi's friends met Hiro a couple of times, but they are instant best friends forever. Oh wait, they did take that selfie together, right? Definitely BFF territory. Gap in Hiro's teeth is on the right side of his mouth, and now on the left side. Oh, I just stubbed my toe a little. I'm fine. For injuries. Don't scan Baymax scans Hero for health problems. It lists his symptoms, such as heart rate and blood pressure. Objective measurements taken by a healthcare provider like these are known as signs. Hero's Megabot had no visible screws in prior scenes, but now Hero is working on the bot with a screwdriver. Why is Hero trying to hide Baymax from her aunt? It's not like no one noticed a giant walking marshmallow trying to go past the tables at the bakery. Teaching kids how not to cross a busy street. Baymax is walking while Hero is running, and yet he can't catch up to Baymax. The gap between the container and the building changes. Please exercise caution. The window is too high for Baymax to reach. Hero holds the broom as a weapon as he approaches the barrel of microbots, but then the broom disappears. Baymax was ready to shock Hero when he didn't actually have a heart attack. I guess Baymax healthcare programming is not that good. Oh no. Why did Baymax say, oh no, he wouldn't know if what happened was dangerous or not. To him, it was just some microbots moving up. It is out of place that the police officer will be so incredulous about Hero's story. The movie portrays San Francisco to be technologically advanced, so the idea of microbots is not that far-fetched. Microbots? Yeah, he was controlling them telepathically with a neurocranial transmitter. So Mr. Kabuki was using... ESP to attack you in Balloon Man. Baymax inflates his arms and has three holes on each arm. When the camera angle changes, he has a lot more pieces of tape on his arms and belly. Low battery power does not make robots drunk, unless they are programmed that way. The charging station is plugged and in the corner, but earlier we see it fly away from the middle of the room. We never see Baymax recharge his batteries again for the rest of the movie. When will he return? Baymax asks, when will he return, but right after says, he's here. Why did he ask when he'll return, if he's here? How did the microbot get there? And why is it not moving? The microbot had been moving out throughout the movie, but now it's not moving at all. There is no drink at the desk, but then Hero rolls away in his chair with the drink. Hero decides to upgrade Baymax, a robot designed to be family friendly, innocent and planned to diagnose medical problems instead of building a combat robot that will be far better at stopping the Kabuki Man. 
or he could build a better neurotransmitter to override the other neurotransmitter, or he could build a signal jammer. Microbot decides to move again. Always wait one hour after eating before swimming. This has no basis in medical hey. fact. People who do not get cramps after eating will not develop cramps by going swimming after eating. Besides, Hero has not eaten a meal in the past hour, unless you count the gummy bears he ate. Callahan was right behind them. He would have caught them at the red line. Closed the exit. He just needed to think it instead of making a tunnel. Callahan doesn't make sure Hero and friends are dead. Jammed seatbelt cliche. Just because we have lightsaber blades, it doesn't automatically give you super eye hand coordination. Everyone gets super cool upgrades and Hero gets a matching costume. When Hero jumps on Baymax, he attaches himself to Baymax, but then he does it again in the next scene. Thrusters! Steady big guy! Let's just take this slow! Pigeon survives and they are still confident they can defeat the Kabuki Man. This structure is interfering with my sensor. Perfect. But Baymax Perfect. could scan just fine from miles away at the Guys, top of the bridge. Abandoned high-tech facility with confidential research video footage easily accessible. Was Red Eyes programmed into Baymax fight mode? My enhanced scanner has been damaged. But of course the sensor is damaged. Wait! Hero. Hero just flew back to his garage and took him 20 seconds to fix the scanner. Guys, I, How did they get to Hero so fast? Why did he hide his face behind a mask back. if he was going to reveal himself all along? How is the portal powered? Later when the portal crashes, it is still working with no apparent power source. Making dramatic, unnecessary hand gestures when the microbots are controlled by his mind. We never see Kray being saved, but he's free when the building collapses. Baymax crushes the mask. We'd have done that way before when he had the chance. Previously, Baymax gets smashed into a building and his armor is okay. Armor is destroyed, but there are no leaks in his marshmallow body. Baymax could have aimed himself, Hero and Abigail at the portal by turning himself away from it and then fired his fist. Newton's law, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, might have generated enough force to push them all through the portal. Or, Baymax could have just told Hero that the Tadashi chip was in the hand. That would have improved Hero's mental condition. Or Tadashi could have made Baymax to sync with a cloud server for real-time backups, that way Baymax would not lose all the things he learned in case of a catastrophic event like going to a wormhole. Great programmers would have predicted this situation. Previously the portal sucks an entire building, but now it just sucks loose debris. It took Tadashi 84 attempts to build Baymax. Hero rebuilds Baymax from scratch, so Tadashi must have had backups. Calham seemed really trustworthy and caring about his students. He cared whether or not Hero got into a school and made something of himself. Then he turns into this evil sociopath that has no problem killing his former students. He can only take blinded by loss and revenge so far to be believable. This scene shows that they had a disagreement, but I wouldn't say it's a hint that Callahan had supervillain tendencies. That's just not true. I wouldn't trust Kratek with your microbots. Or anything else. Here's plan B. Callahan apparently was the guy in robotics. He already had the trust of Tadashi and Hiro, so no one would have noticed if he took one microbot, went to his warehouse, reverse engineered it and made more microbots. Which was exactly what Kray tried to do when Tadashi asked for the microbot back. If Callahan had done that, Tadashi would still be alive, there wouldn't be any superheroes, he would have had his revenge with no one to stop him. But had he done that, his daughter would still be trapped in the wormhole. But first, let me take a selfie. Can you guys help me pick a filter? I don't know if I should go with XX Pro or Valencia. Basically, when the when the gate is dialing, I, I say, 
Chevron 1 encoded, Chevron 2 encoded, and so on incrementally up to the seventh Chevron, um, which is a little different because that's when the wormhole connects. When that happens, I, I like to change things up a little bit and just say Chevron 7 locked. I'll be back.